This is such an amazing geometry problem, and the final answer will fully satisfy you. In this triangle, we are given these angles, which are 15 degrees and 45 degrees. Also, we are given that this length is equal to this length. Our job is to find the value of this angle theta. So, can you solve it? Okay, first from the exterior angle property, this 45 will be equal to this angle plus 15 degrees. So, this angle will be 30 degrees. Next, using the straight angle property, we know that this whole angle is 180 degrees. So, if this angle is 45, then this will be 180 minus 45 or 135 degrees. Now, let us draw this line such that this length is the same as this length. Therefore, we can see that this triangle will be an isosceles triangle, right? So, if this is 30 degrees, then this will also be, yeah, you guess it, right? It will be 30 degrees as well. Now, using the angle sum property, we know that the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, this angle will be 180 minus 30 minus 30, or 120 degrees. Amazing! Now, look at this. If this is 135 degrees and this is 120 degrees, then this will be 135 minus 120 or 15 degrees, isn't it? Awesome! Now consider this triangle. Both of these angles are 15 degrees, so this is also an isosceles triangle. Therefore, this side of the triangle will be the same as this side of the triangle. Now, here comes the magic. Construct this line. What will be the value of this angle? It will be 45 plus 15 degrees, or 60 degrees, right? Also, both of these sides are equal, and hence it will be an isosceles triangle as well. So, both of these angles will also be equal. Now, since this is 60 degrees, therefore this angle and this angle will be 60 as well. Thus, it will be an equilateral triangle, and this side will also be equal to both of these sides. So far, so good. Now consider this line. This is 60 and this is 30, so it will be 90 degrees. Therefore, this will also be 90 degrees. Now this length is the same as this length, so this will also be, yes, you again guessed it right, it will also be an isosceles triangle. My God! So many isosceles triangles in a problem can make you feel acute about your geometry skills. Okay, sorry. Now, since this is 90 degrees, therefore, both of them will be 45 degrees. Now, since this is 15 degrees, therefore, the value of theta will be 30 degrees, and we are done. Isn't this cool? Now, I have a challenge for you. Can you solve the same question using trigonometry? Try solving it now. And if you are stuck, use the following hint. Make this right triangle and label both these sides as X and this side as Y. After that, you don't need anything else except your trigonometry skills. Let me know in the comments if you were able to solve it. Also, if you like this video, then please don't forget to share this video with your friends and support this channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!